welcome back, it's Chloe. The video that I have for you today is a quick haul of the things that I got while I was on my holidays last week. I went to Santa Panza and Majorca with my family and I got some makeup and clothing and jewellery items while I was there. Um, as you may have noticed, Tracy's not here with me today. She's in Lanzarote on her holiday with a couple of our friends. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to start with the beauty products that I got. Um, I got a few of them in the duty free and then I got the rest in some shops in the city centre. One of the things that I picked up when I was in Cork Airport was the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Now, I got it for €20. Euro. They sell it on Aer Lingus planes for €18 euro, and it's usually about €25 to €27 euro in Debenhams. Now, I got it because I had my eye on it for a while and I was thinking, okay, since I'm going to be in the duty free, I might as well pick it up for cheaper than I would at home. Um, the only thing about it is I don't think I'd buy it a second time because it's so expensive, but it is an amazing mascara. Um, I'll be doing a blog post review on it pretty soon, so I'll leave an annotation whenever I do that. Um, yeah, everyone like raves about it and I agree with them. It's so fantastic, but I really don't like the packaging. I think it's quite cheap looking. It's, it's silver and it's shiny. It just looks like one that you buy from NYC or Essence or something. This is what the brush looks like. It's a dome shape applicator on the top so that you can get your bottom lashes in your inner corner and then the rest is really spiked. It's a really wet formula but I think it's really really good. It dries really quickly and it's fantastic. I'm actually wearing it today. It just elongates your lashes so well. It's really 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 good. Another thing that I bought in the Cork Airport duty free was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Gel Eyeliner. <laughs> That's a mouthful. It was 19.50, I think. I'm not too sure how much it is at home. Um, I only got this because I was looking to get the Clinique one and they didn't have it and the woman recommended this. She said to say specifically that it isn't waterproof. It's just really, really durable. It's a bit grubby because I've used it a lot. I have it on today actually as well. <laughs> and um, it's really, really fantastic. It goes on like a dream. It's so smooth. Um, it stays on, it stays in place all day. It's really hard to get off, which is quite good because you don't want it to fade halfway during the day. It comes with this little brush, which frankly isn't that good. I just use my um, e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush. Like, the heads on them are more or less the same, but I just think this is easier because it's got a longer brush on it and you can hold it better. Um, you get three grams worth of product and I got it in the shade 01 Stay On It. I'll just swatch it for you. That's how dark it is. I think it's fantastic. It's beautiful. It really, really is lovely now and I don't think I'll bother buying the Clinique one. I think I'll just stick with this one. The next beauty products that I got were purchased in a shop in Santa Panza City Centre. The shop is called Tintin, I believe. I'm not really too sure. Um, I got two Clinique chubby sticks. I just had a cute packaging to show you because it's super cute. That's just what it looked like, all flowery and really pretty. I wanted to get it in the airport but the woman said that they didn't stock them or else they ran out of them or something like that. So they're about 19 euro to buy in Debenhams. I got mine for 15 30 um, and in the end it actually came to about 13 80 because the shop was having a 10% off sale as well. So I got them in the shades Chunky Cherry and Whoppin' Watermelon. I'll just show you what they look like and I'll do a quick swatch. These are amazing. I had my eye on these for so long and I'm so glad I got them. This is what, sorry, I'll put the lid back on. This is what the packaging looks like. It's only okay. This is the colour, what one is this? Whoppin' Watermelon, number six. They twist up. Obviously you wouldn't be able to fit them in a, a pair of that's what the Whopping Watermelon one looks like. They're really pigmented because these aren't lipsticks, these are lip balms. They're really, really moisturising. Um, they're quite pigmented for a lip balm, like you wouldn't find one of them in Tesco or anything. This is the Chunky Cherry one. That's how that comes out. Um, I'm really glad I bought them. They're so moisturising. They're really nice. Um, like if you're just going for a really light look. Like I wore them all the time when I was in Santa Panza because I didn't want to wear lipstick. Because I felt like it was really heavy for the hot weather that they were having. So these were ideal for my holidays and I'm so glad I bought them. 
The last thing that I got was the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. They sell this on Aer Lingus Plains because they have a service called Sky Shopping. I'm not too sure if you can get it in the Duty Free in the airport in Cork because I didn't see any Urban Decay stand but they do sell this palette. It was €36 Euro, which saves about, I don't know, about €8 Euro from buying it at home which is good because I was going to buy it anyway. Um, most of you have probably seen what this is like and know what it's like. It just looks like that. All those colours. It comes with the double-ended brush, flat shader brush, fluffy crease brush. Um, the colours are absolutely magnificent. They're so much nicer than the ones in the first Naked palette. And it comes with a Lip Junkie um, cooling and plumping lip gloss. I am in love with the detail on the packaging. It is so cute and so intricate it is beautiful and this is one of those lip glosses that makes your lips really tingly and it's really like minty kind of menthol kind of smell and it's absolutely amazing i love it and this is a beautiful color as well it really complements a lot of the shades that come in the naked two palette next up i have some jewelry items we went to a kind of shopping arcade called El Corte Angle, I think it is, I'm not too sure, it's Spanish, I can't pronounce that. Um, we found a H&M shop and they were having a huge sale, so I got a few bits and pieces. I got this, okay, I really don't know how to explain what this is, but this piece goes over your ear like a cuff, and then this piece clips into your hair, and this dangles down and it's got spikes on it, and this bit has spikes, and it's beautiful and has a little diamond, di diamond, diamante. And it just coughs onto your ear like this, I'll show you now. It just goes on like that. And like you can see all the spikes. My own earrings are in the way so you can't see it that well. But um, it's really nice, like if you have your hair tied up and all your hair off your face. And you have this on and then like you clip the other side behind so then you have it like dangling behind. I think it's so pretty, it was only 5 99 I think. So I thought it was a steal and I've worn it a good few times since I got it. Another item that I bought in H&M was this beautiful gold chain necklace. I think it's really, really beautiful. It was about €10 Euro and I've worn it about 20 million times since I bought it last week. It goes with everything. It's absolutely stunning. The final piece of jewellery that I bought in H&M was this beautiful, I don't know if the colour is going to come up, a beautiful peachy, corally pink ring with a lovely gold half ring like outside it. I can't explain it. I'm so bad at explaining things. Um, it cost me, I think it was about two ninety nine, um, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I keep wearing it. I have it on today. <laughs> I'm not too sure if you can get any of these pieces in the H&M in Cork because I haven't been to the H&M in Cork since I got home on Sunday, but they probably are, and if they're not, they probably will be in the future. While we were in the shopping arcade that we found H&M in, we saw a shop called C&A. Now, I'm not too sure what it stands for because it's probably something Spanish, but it's kind of like um, the Spanish version of TK Maxx. It had about three or four floors and they just had absolutely beautiful sale. They were having a sale and a lot of the stuff that my family and I bought was in sale because they were dirt cheap and so beautiful. The only item that I bought in the shop was this beautiful top I don't know if yeah you can see it it's the skull and crossbones but they're made out of tiny little skulls I just fell in love with that I think it's so nice just dark grey cotton polyester mix so it's really really cozy it'll be really nice and warm with a like a chunky cardigan in the winter I think it's beautiful it's so my style I fell in love with it and the best part was it was only seven euro and that wasn't even on sale so you wouldn't even get that in pennies the next thing that I bought in the shop was actually something that my mum got for me. It's a beautiful dress. Oh my god, I'm in love with it. The front is just like this. It's a bodycon cobalt blue dress. And then the back of it. Wait till you see the back of it. This is the back. Oh my god, I'm in love with it. Just these cut out holes. Oh, it's so unreal. And also, the best part about this was that it was 19.50 down to 9 euro. What an absolute bargain. So yeah, that's it really guys. Um, I did buy another few things that were like presents and stuff, but I've already given them to the people so I don't have them here to show you. But those are the things that I bought that um, I thought you might like to see. I hope you liked that video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any requests that you'd like to see from me or Tracy or both of us together, then please do leave a comment below or message us or something because we'd love to know what you'd love to see from us. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.